Hey folks, it's Jake with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we're gonna to be asking the question, how important is it to have a scale when you're brewing espresso? Now, we talk a lot about scales on our videos, our blog posts, and things like that, and we just wanted to see exactly how effective a scale could be, what you're looking for in a scale um, when you're making espresso, and what you're gonna be using it for. Um, so let's get started. So first, let's look at the different types of scales that are available out in the market. Um, first, we have something that's mostly uh, this is very much like a kitchen scale. Um, it reads, you know, pretty high up, up to, I think this one's 11 pounds. Um, this is one that we probably don't want to use for espresso for a couple of reasons. Um, first, it's, it's pretty large. Um, you know, you can use it to weigh out how much ground coffee you have in your portafilter. Um, after, you know, tearing out the portafilter, that could be a good use for it. But if we're looking to, you know, measure our uh, amount of liquid that's actually coming out of the espresso spouts when you're brewing, which is what I typically look for. It is not that great because it's not super responsive. So by the time it starts reading, um, you know, 36 grams or, or however much you have out, you're probably already past that amount. Um, so you'd switch it off, but then it would start climbing a little bit because it's not super responsive. Then we have something that's like this. Um, this is a Hario drip scale. Now this is used a lot in the pour over category of brewing, but you can use it for espresso. It's pretty compact, you know, also not, it's not super responsive, but it is more responsive than your general kitchen scale. And it's also a little bit more accurate um, and it's accurate enough to, you know, measure down to the 10th of a gram, which is great because um, then you can, you know, measure 18, 18.2 grams, 18.4 grams, etc. Then there's, um, you know, slow brew um, scales like the Akaya Pearl. Now I have seen people use the Akaya Pearl successfully with espresso um, and it's great to weigh out how much ground coffee you have. Um, you know, it's great to um, see flow rate in some applications. Uh, it's great to see, um, you know, super accurate results uh, and with uh, a platform that's large enough to hold a porta filter on, you know, it works great. Um, for me personally, I don't use it in espresso because what I like is gonna be something like an Akaya Lunar. Now the Lunar is uh, Akaya's top of the line scale. You know, it is pretty pricey. So if you're an espresso enthusiast or you're looking to really improve or step up your espresso game, you know, it is an uh, excellent investment for that. It has um, flow rate and you can see all sorts of variables when you're brewing. And it's also super compact so that it can fit under the spout of your espresso machine while you have a shot pitcher or something like that under it. So it can be on and running while you're brewing so that you can be watching for, you know, your 35 gram target and shut it off as soon as it hits that. Um, and then, you know, you already know that you've got 35 grams out. So with that being said, you know, do I need an Akaya Lunar to make great espresso? And the answer is, Obviously not, because you can do it without a scale, you can do it by eye, you can do it by, uh, you know, just by eye is, is one way that people do get uh, a lot out of it. But I like to use, if I'm not gonna be using a scale, or even with a scale, uh, a shot pitcher that has markings on the side. Um, this one is, uh, you know, a three ounce shot pitcher. It's measured up to two and a half ounces, which is larger than any espresso shot I would be making. Mine are typically in the one and a half ounce range, two ounce range. Um, so this is a perfect tool for if you don't have a scale, you don't want to bother with a scale in the morning. Using this, you'll know exactly, um, you know, when to stop it because you'll, you're wanting two ounces out. You can stop it right when it hits two ounces. Super simple. Now you could also use something like a Vario W or a Sete 270WI, which has um, a built-in scale function. That way you know that you're getting exactly how much coffee comes out. Uh, and it's super uh, reliable, super accurate, and it's super simple to use. You know, it's already built in, so why not use it? If you have a, a grinder without a timer, like this Note here, I would recommend using a scale at least a few times with your portafilter. What I would do is, you know, remove my portafilter, put it on whatever scale um, that you have, tear that out, and then measure what you think looks like a good amount of ground coffee uh, and then don't tamp it yet, and then re-weigh it and see how much ground coffee it is. You may be surprised, um, 
you know, depends a lot on the port of filter. You may be surprised that when it's level with the port of filter, it's actually like 17 or 18 grams, which is perfect for a double shot. Um, and on some port of filters, you really need to round it over to get that 17 or 18 grams. Um, for example, on like a Ranchilio basket, they tend to be uh, pretty deep. So you may need a little less coffee than you think to hit that 18 gram double shot target. If you have a grinder that has a timer on it, then it makes it really easy to dial it in because you can say, let's say it has five and a half seconds on it right now. Let's say I grind through that and then I weigh it out and that's uh, maybe it's 16 grams or 15 grams, a little bit too less, uh, a little bit too little of ground coffee. So I would just take that up a few notches, you know, go ahead and brew your shot, 15, 16 gram shot. It's not going to hurt anybody. Won't be perfect if that's what you're looking for, but you know, still will taste pretty good at the end of the day. Um, then, you know, uh, grind again and then weigh that again. And then you're probably going to be pretty close to on target. And you know, with, with this setting, um, with these style of beans, you know, each bean is a little bit different, but if you're using, you know, a medium dark roast from your favorite roaster and that's all you use and that's all you dial in then perfect. Then you know that 5.8 seconds should be right on the nose. Um, and with the addition of a shot pitcher, you know, then you can see two ounces out and that's, that's really all you need to do other than, um, keeping time. If that's something that you want to do, you know, that 25 to 30 second shot range is a, a really good way to see how your shot is dialed in. So overall, you know, a scale is definitely a beneficial tool to have. If you like playing with variables, um, if you like playing with the amount of ground coffee that you're using or the amount of water that's coming out of the spouts, you know, an Akaya Lunar is an invaluable tool for something like that. If you're just looking to get dialed in, be a little bit more consistent. I think even uh, a basic kitchen scale is a, is a really good tool to have on hand just because then you can visually estimate how much ground coffee is in your porta filter or dial in a timed espresso grinder to get exactly how much espresso uh, grounds that you're wanting out of the grinder. Um, it can be a, a really helpful tool for lots of other coffee brewing purposes. So if you're gonna choose one, you know, and, and you're not gonna be brewing directly onto something like an Akaya Lunar, um, you know, any, any of these options works great. Because um, what, what you really need at the end of the day uh, as a timer, a, a, basically a, a scale, a timer, and all these have those built in. Now they get more accurate, more responsive as they get more expensive, but how important that is to you uh, is totally up to you and how you're brewing and how you want to make your espresso routine. Um, but either way, super helpful tool to have on hand. Um, I, I use it uh, a scale a lot when I'm brewing espresso because it is a little bit more finicky than a, a drip brew or a slow brew method, something like a French press or um, something like that. So I use a scale to make sure that I'm getting reliable results and not wasting all that good, um, you know, coffee beans that I bought um, and got freshly roasted just a few weeks ago. So yeah, it's a helpful tool and I, I couldn't live without one, even just a basic one, super helpful to have on hand. So I hope that answers the question on is an espresso scale really necessary to brew the greatest shot of espresso or get all dialed in? Uh, I think the answer is maybe, depending on your situation, but um, you know, if you have a kitchen scale on hand, start with that and uh, go from there. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Oh, yes.